The scientific analysis in the Wells Report has fallen under a lot of criticism. The Patriots Wells Report in Context document points out the major uncertainty. There were two gauges differing by about 0.4 PSI and it's not certain which gauge was used in pregame measurement. We asked Professor David Willis how much of an impact this did or didn't have on the scientific conclusions. So what I've got here is a couple of gauges. So I've got this gauge here, which is just a regular tire gauge, and it goes between uh, 0 and 20 PSI. So when we put this gauge into this football here, what we can see is that the dial on the gauge actually moved, and this particular football reads right around 12.6 PSI. Now, if we take this gauge out, and we take our second gauge, and this is again a tire gauge here, not a very advanced instrument, and we stick that into the football, what we can see now is that this pressure gauge is reading just over 11 PSI, so probably about 11 and a half, 11.6 PSI. So this gauge here is different than the gauge that we just used beforehand. And you might ask the question, well, maybe this one lost some pressure when it was being stuck in. So maybe we lost a little bit of air, and that's the cause for the difference. But if we take this one again, and we stick it back into the football here, what we can see is that it's back up again, well above 12.5. So once again, we're doing pretty well. So this is the same thing that was noted in the Wells report, was there's two different gauges. And the two different gauges were measuring different pressures on the same ball. Now, the team at Exponent actually did testing on the two different gauges, and they were able to say that the two gauges when used, or each gauge when used separately, would be measuring the correct differences between the pressures. So if you only used one gauge, let's say the logo gauge, you would measure the differences accurately with that one gauge. If you used another gauge and then switched halfway through, you might find that that jump between gauges would also cause a jump between the pressure readings because the two gauges might be reading slightly different pressures for the same pressure in the ball.